Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. So today we have another Clinique review. Before you begin, of course, you know by now, if you watched my even better clinical serum foundation review, you'll know. Of course, I have to put it on. If you don't know already, if you are new to my channel, I am a Clinique consultant. I'm a counter manager on a counter, obviously. <laughs> I want to say now I am not being paid or anything to do these videos. I just love making review videos and I love Clinique. So yeah, it's not an ad, it's not a sponsor, it's not gifted or anything like that. I do get gifted some products because I work for them, they like their consultants to try out the products and stuff, so we get sent the products, some products, um, so I always disclaim that and say gifted if I was gifted any of these products, so yeah. But before we jump into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, that would mean the world to me, and also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or if you're excited to see the new launch. Let's jump in to the video. Today, like it says on the title, it is launch day. It's the launch of the new Clinique Pop Reds lipsticks. Stunning, I'll get into those in a second. For me, it's not the 16th of July. But for you guys, it will be up on the launch date. So happy launch date, happy 16th of July. I hope it's 16th of July. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but obviously you can tell, like I said in the intro, I am a Clinique consultant. These lipsticks aren't gifted to me, but they are the testers that have come into my store. And my area manager has told me that I can bring them home to review it because we're all about social media here in Clinique, which is absolutely amazing. I love that. If my voice sounds a little bit croaky as well, I am suffering really bad with hay fever at the moment, so I apologise about that. I will have a sip of my drink now and then. So yeah, jumping into the video. Obviously, these lipsticks aren't on the Clinique website for me yet, but they will be for you guys. Um, I will link them all in the description box down below for you to go check them out. But yeah, I do have a little bit of information on my like inside Clinique secret thing. And obviously I can talk about it because once this goes up, it'll be live, so yeah. So obviously here at Clinique, we are fragrance free, allergy tested, no parabens, no sulfates, and it's really good for the skin. And obviously our lipsticks are amazing. They're so refreshing on the lips and moisturizing. Um, these lipsticks, this is what they look like here. Obviously I'll go one by one and show you swatches on the lips in a second after I spoke a little bit about them. These are added to the pop collection basically. So these are just the red versions. We do have a few reds in our collection already but obviously just bear in mind these are the new ones. So I'm going to go on the Clinique website and obviously tell you a little bit about the pop lipsticks because obviously they're going to be on there already. These are going to be slightly different anyway because these are lip colour and cheek. So you can use these on the cheeks, on the lips, everything. So bear that in mind. But the normal ones do say just for lip colour and primer. They are going to retail for £18, which is like the normal lipsticks we have. Obviously, if more information comes out about it before the launch for me, I will jump back on here because obviously I don't know all the ingredients and stuff at the moment. So with, I forgot to mention actually. So with the pop lipsticks, they are meant to be long lasting, but hydrating. So it's not gonna be matte on the lips at all. It's gonna be nice and smooth, like your original lipsticks basically, um, which I absolutely love. So yeah, if you like a smooth, shiny sort of finish, lipsticks, Lipsticks? Lipstick. You're gonna love these. I have noticed as well, we haven't done this with any of other lipstick. They've got the 
C for Clinique engraved into the lipsticks, which I think is just a such a nice feature. I don't know, it makes it look really expensive. They definitely don't have a scent to them, which is good. They don't even have any scent to them. Not even like... <laughs> Not even like a makeup scent, so that's good. See, it says for all skin types, of course. Luxurious yet weightless formula merges bolds and structured colour with a smoothing primer. Yeah, I think this is going to be different. Obviously Clinique have no fragrance in them, so it's not going to irritate the lips if you are quite sensitive skin. Um, but what I've got here is, it says, Clinique Shade Match Science is a foolproof way to solve three common makeup pain points. Oh, that was a mouthful. Identifies the most flattering shades of foundation as well as red and nude lipsticks. So with the Shade Matte Science, if you don't know, and you haven't been on the Clinique website or in store to a counter, you won't know what it is. So basically it's clinical reality. It's sort of similar to that if you've used it before, but obviously it matches you to a foundation shade or to a lipstick. So these lipsticks are designed to match your shade of foundation. So say you've got a foundation shade in Clinique already, or if you don't, then you can go in and get your colour match from the store or online. Like I said, you can do ritual reality, clinical reality, and that will match you up there. But these colours are designed to match what shade you are. So my shade is 46 Golden Neutral and I have been matched to 07 Roses Are Red. So, so easy to know your perfect red lipstick colour, lipstick shade for yourself. So that's amazing. So what you've got to do is match and apply foundation. So use the Clinique Shade Match Science app to determine your foundation shade, then apply. That's really all I've got to say about that. The only thing I suggest doing is if you have the time or you have a Clinique around by you, going into store, getting a swatch of your favourite shade or your matched shade to your foundation if you have one and getting it applied on your lips because we can now do services. Yay, finally. So you could get your foundation, like this one is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation, which is our newest foundation, literally just launched. And I wanna say a massive thank you to all the love I've had with that video. Thank you so much. I will link it in the eye up there, if it's up that way, that way. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch that and find out a little bit more information about this foundation. Um, so I am, like I said, 46 gold neutral, so I matched to number seven. Roses are red. So you're gonna see that on my skin at now in a second anyway, because I'm gonna apply that one last and then I'll keep it on. Um, but like I said, these are really, really smooth and hydrating. I need to do a little clip for Clinique. Um, I've been chosen to do like, like a 20 second clip, applying the lipstick. So I'll just make sure to sanitize it correctly and stuff like that afterwards. That's pretty much all I've got to say at the moment. Obviously, I don't want this video to be super long winded. So if I do have more information, I will be back. But before then, Let's do some swatches.
Okay, so as you can see, I've applied the lipstick. I apologise about my squeaky chair too. They all applied absolutely beautifully. Beautifully? Is that a word? Stunning. They were all stunning and I just loved every single shade. This shade surprised me. Which one was it? Number four. It looks really dark in the bullet but when you put it on your lips it's not as dark as you think it's going to be. So stunning. Loved all of them but this shade is definitely a true match. It's like that traditional red with a little bit of pinky bluey tones. I think it suits my undertone really really nicely. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. Definitely let me know if you're going to go out and grab one of these or a few of these. Let me know as well if you're going to do the shade match science um, on your phone, online. Please do let me know, that is really interesting and it's just a little fun way of getting your shade. And yeah, massive tip though, if you're going to apply a red lip lipstick, definitely get a lip liner. Um, you could get a red lip liner, you could either, like I was doing, use a brush and use the lipstick and outline your lips first. Definitely recommend that. Okay, so what I've decided to do now, it's a couple of days later and I did say I'm going to be back if I've got a little bit more information. So, what I decided to do as well, I forgot to show you how to apply it on the cheeks because, you know, um, yes, I've got some nails on actually as well. Um, I'm off for a few days, so I've decided to put a few nails on because I can, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm actually going to show you my shade on lips and on the cheeks. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more information that's come out for me as well. So what I do is get a little bit on the back of my hand and swirl it on there like so. Because you don't want to be going straight on with the lipstick because you might get a little bit too much product. And then what I like to do is just dab my finger in just my ring finger and then I dab it off a little bit on the back of my hand and then I go in where I want it to be as you can see and then I keep blending I like my blush to be further up on my face because it brings that sort of high sort of 80s style which I love I don't really like it on my cheek apples you know but that's all personal preference and then you can build it if you need to i have already done this cheek because i did a video for instagram i do have a clinique instagram for my counter which i'm trying to improve on <laughs> sorry kylie <laughs> and then if need be just blend it out with a little brush just to blend out any harsh edges or anything and then sometimes I go in with my cream bronzer brush because I just love cream products as you can tell and that's that as you can see it just gives a nice wash of colour obviously if you use the shade match science it's going to match your skin tone which I absolutely love that technique and yeah so number seven is my one but now I'm going to apply it onto the lips and I'm going to do a wear test because I thought why not do a wear test and see how it wears so yeah I'm just going to apply this with a brush first obviously if you've got a red lip liner then definitely use that and then what I do is go straight in with the bullet not the best application ever so I'm going to leave this lipstick on now for a few hours and obviously the blusher as well um, I haven't set my face at all and I'm really liking it without powder. New summer luck, you know. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So adding a little bit of information on. I haven't got much more information, but it's come on to my e-learning, which helps us know a little bit more about the lipsticks or the new product, etc. Um, it says, flush lips and cheeks with the perfect shade of red for every skin tone. Full coverage with high shine finish, non-bleeding and feather resistant, formulated with sucralene, sorry if I'm butchering that, and pomegranate sterols. <laughs> I'm so bad at these names. 
Um, provides eight hour wear with stay true color. I will be testing that today. Why are seemingly unrated colors in plants so spectacular to look at? What makes them pleasing to the eye? The geometry, shape or interplay of color is that they confirm to be golden ratio. It is a harmonious portion that underlies the most beautiful works of art and nature. Clinique translated the relationship to the world of makeup to sh find shades that best flatter each other and you. So it actually explains what Clinique Shade Match Science is. So a proven method of demonstrating the, the most flattering combination of foundation and lipstick shades using an algorithm built on the golden ratio. You can actually get your perfect nude shade as well, which is great. They say it lasts for eight hours, so by eight o'clock I'll come back to see if it lasted eight hours, basically. I am having wraps tonight for heaters, so we'll see if it smudges and comes off. I can't promise too much because I don't know many lipsticks that stay on all day, especially when eating a wrap, but we'll see. Can only hope. So yeah, I will be back later. So it's been more than eight hours now, I think. It is currently half past eight in the evening and I am ready to take my makeup off. So let's have a look at the lipstick. So my lips have become quite dry. It's still there. I'm actually really, really surprised of how much has stayed on. Does that make sense? It does sort of look like I've got a lip liner on. It still looks all right. But I mean, I don't know anyone who's gonna wear a lipstick and not reapply it if they know they're gonna be out and wearing it all day. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's pretty much stayed put. Obviously it's a lot less pigmented, um, but I'm quite happy with that. I do need to apply a little bit of lip balm but the cheeks, now that has stayed put, like that looks no different. Sometimes cream blushes or cream products wear off throughout the day for me, but I think that actually looks quite nice. What do you guys think? But yeah, overall, really, really good. No lipstick's gonna stay on like for ages anyway. And plus I had an ice lolly, I had fajitas, which are wraps. I had just hurt. I ate quite a lot. <laughs> so that's why it came off quite a lot. And obviously if I was going out and I would apply this lipstick after I've eaten anyway. So yeah, um, I've gotten changed as well. It's so hot today. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed. I really hope you've learned something new. I hope you're all excited for this new launch. Let me know if you're gonna go out and buy one of these or, you know, use the Shade Matte Science to match it to your specific shade. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Have a look, I'll link it down below for you to check it out. Let me know in the comments down below, like I said, if you're gonna go out and get one um, and your thoughts on the Clinique Lip sticks let me know as well if you want me to review any other products i would be more than happy to especially clinique products let me know if you've been dying to try something specific and i will do a full review on it for you guys because obviously i am a consultant i would like to think i know a little bit about the products so i would love to share it i'm going to do like a sort of clinique series here on my channel so stay tuned for those videos let me know if you want to see any other product reviews from me, not specifically Clinique, but anything in particular, please do let me know. I have been having a few requests lately, so that is great. Thank you so much to those who have been sending some ideas in for me. I'm gonna sound off here. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the huge thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed this video because thumbsing up the video really helps with my content and letting me know what you guys want to see and before you leave please do consider subscribing to my channel that would mean a lot to me and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>